Hi, me again. Um, today I'm going to show you a, a little Lisp routine that I've just written, um, which is to do with inserting a block which has got attributes on it and then putting a, a counter onto one of the attributes. So every time you insert the block, the counter will increase incrementally by whatever increment you decide. Um, so let's have a look at how to do that and I'll explain the, um, the issues with this as we go through, um, just so that you can be aware if it suits your, your intention or not. Okay, here we are. Um, I'm going to first of all make myself a little block. So I'm going to just go in here and I'll say 10,5 as my block. Um, zoom to the extents just so that I can work on it. Um, it's always worth checking here what your units are because when we're creating a block, um, we're going to save it separately so it's worth noting here the units are millimeters and I've got decimal places but I might want to I might want to actually reset that to zero so it's a whole number of millimeters okay um, with that set now what I'm going to do is add some extra bits in here so I'm just going to add some uh, just some little points here so I'm actually going to add a circle Just a line as well. Okay, um, I'm going to make this into a block. So I'm going to say create, and I'm going to call this uh, a marker because it's going to be a marker point, and I'm going to specify a pick point and it's going to be the center there and that's why I made that marker in that way because I want to mark the crosshairs to be the exact point. Um, I'm going to convert this into a block and delete what's there on the screen and I'm going to open in a block editor immediately. Now what you can do here is you can allow exploding so that when people have put these blocks in their drawings they can actually uh, manage the attributes. Um, I'm not going to do that in this instance. I'm just click OK. Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to add an attribute here, and this is going to be the number. Okay, and the default is going to be 1. And I'm just going to put this so it's locked into the top left hand corner. So what I'm going to do is justification, I'm going to make it top left. And for the height, I'm just going to say I want to make it that high. Um, so that's about 0.9, so okay, that's as good as 1, so let's just say 1. And I click OK, and now it's got number. Now you'll notice that when I drag it there, you see the number is not where I wanted it to be, but as soon as I click, it then does take on the justification that I set, so top left. Now clearly my number may not be that long, it'll probably only be 2 or 3 digits long, so it's not going to stretch as wide as that across the screen. I'm going to close the block editor now and save the changes. Um, I'm now going to export that block. So I'm going to say insert write block and I want to write the block that's called marker and my insertion units rather than millimeters I want to make this unitless. Now what this will do is it will make it come in in the units so where I've specified millimeters they will be the units for whatever drawing I put the blocks the block into. So it will help it scale to fit whatever drawing it goes into. Uh, okay, it asks me where I want to put it. I'm going to give it a different name. Um, <coughs> so here we go. I'm going to go on the desktop and I'll just call it marker, but it's, it's located on the desktop. Okay, um, let's see how this works now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a Lisp file that I've written and if you want a copy of this Lisp file just send me a, a, a note and make sure you give me your email address because otherwise I can't send it to you. Um, I'm going to load application and the application is called ink block insertion. Okay and close. Now the one that I'll send you will be called ink block 
uh, VLX file. Uh, it runs slightly faster, that's all that's been compiled. Okay, so now what I do is I say ink, and it comes up and says ink block. Yeah, that's the one I want to do, and it's incremental block. So it's incrementally numbered blocks. It's then asking me, which block do I want to insert? So this is, remember, it's on my desktop. So it's on the desktop, and it's called marker. So it's that one there. So I click open, and it's now going to ask me several questions. So the starting number. So let's say we want to start at... 201 press enter my increment will be 10 uh, my prefix being in fact let's make it a and my suffix being I don't know mm okay where do I want to put my blocks and what you'll notice is that it's putting the block in where I click as the center point, and if I just come out of there, okay, so where I click is the center point, it's got the prefix, which was the AA, the suffix, which is the MM, and the 201 as the number. My second one is 211, because I set an increment of 10, okay, and then 213141, where I clicked, okay. I hope this has been useful. Like I say, if anybody wants the uh, the Lisp file or the VLX, please just pop me a, a message with your email and I'll send it right to you. I'm the Adobe Guy and thank you for listening.